So today's the day Apple has officially released to everyone iOS 15.3. As expected, most of you were anticipating this software update. Here it is. iOS 15.3 is now available for download for everyone that has an iPhone or an iPad that supports iOS 15. You can now update today to iOS 15.3. Now, of course, in this video, I want to share with you guys some of the latest new features and changes within the software, but I also would like to share with you guys a few things you should do right after you update to iOS 15.3. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now aside from ios 15.3 apple has updated their other platforms as well so the mac also received an update today to mac os 12.2 okay so that's now available for the mac of course ios 15.3 has now been released ipad os 15.3 for ipads can be downloaded today as well for the apple watch watch os 8.4 is available for download as well we'll talk about apple watch here in just a few seconds and a tv os for the apple tv 15.3 is now available to download as well now one thing i always like to mention is the download size which is approximately five to five and a half gigs as i always say guys this will not be removing that amount of storage from your iphone but rather installing the os so it's overwriting the entire os right now ios 15.3 which is the latest software update and if you're looking to update all you have to do of course is go into settings in general software updates tab and ios 15.3 should populate for you and you can install it right now on your iphone and or ipad and now if you're a developer and you're testing beta software you go to general and then you scroll to the bottom here you go to the profiles here and then you want to remove this beta profile from your device if you no longer want to test beta so that you can get the final build that was released today but it's pretty much the same one as the developer as public today for developers but if you don't want to continue testing you remove the profile reboot your device and you'll get a final build installed onto your device but if you want to test beta software in the future like 15 15.4 maybe in the future then you want to stay with that profile installed and you'll be just fine you have everything that's new with the latest 15.3 but anyway let's talk about some of the changes one of the big changes here is apple is patching a flaw within the security of safari that would leak certain information i'll note that in the description down below so there was a flaw within the security of the browser safari that has been patched with ios 15.3 now one thing that i've noticed with this software as well for those of you that do use private relay when you enable private relay if your carrier does disable this feature on their end you get this notification underneath right here now of course private relay helps keep your ip address private and your internet activity private as well you can find that setting here under settings icloud settings we go to icloud and then you have your private relay options right here when you enable it there you go you're protecting yourself from uh known trackers right on the internet and if your carrier decides to track you you'll be able to see that pop-up that we just talked about here it's one of the minor changes i've noticed on 15.3 i did not notice this on any other software now private relay is still technically in beta but the software has now been improved server size so you might want to keep that particular option enabled on your iphone now this beautiful wallpaper you see here apple has now made a available this new wallpaper and a new watch face which i'll link in the description down below so right there it is apple unity watch face and wallpapers are available i'll link this down below all you have to do is click add watch face right here if you want the wallpaper for your computer and your iphone you click here and apple has made these wallpapers available to you as well there it is for the ipad the mac and of course the iphone as well look pretty neat and these go along with a new watch band that apple now made available for the unity wallpaper and the unity celebrating black history month right there it is so go ahead and check it out links will be down below now as i always say once you update to ios latest software update this case 15.3 there's a few things i always recommend you do the number one thing i recommend you do is you head on over into settings general and then go into the about section if there's any carrier updates you want to make sure that you enter this section here because a carrier update could pop up this will help you update your carrier settings therefore better performance overall on the network so every time you update to a new version of ios again general about a 
and a new carrier update if it is available will pop up in this section here you click update and you should update your carrier settings for better network performance another thing i always recommend you do even if you have automatic app updates is head on over into the app store here and then you want to make sure that you go into your profile options here and make sure that all your apps are up to date and there's no updates available because developers sometimes do push out app updates after apple releases a major update for better app compatibility and performance overall with your iphone and of course the one thing you may want to do with ios 15.3 which we already talked about when i want to go over here just a second go to icloud settings and make sure you enable that private relay option so that you stay protected online and if you do get that notification on the bottom that your carrier has disabled this feature on their end you make sure you contact your carrier and tell them that you want that feature enabled because you want to stay protected online and that's pretty much it a few things you want to do a few things you need to know about ios 15.3 thank you for watching this quick one guys and i'll see you on the next one peace